And tonight at 6, we are now hearing from the doctors treating President Trump for COVID-19. And there are some new questions about the timeline of his diagnosis. Also, just a few minutes ago, Senate leader Mitch McConnell says he talked with the president over the phone and he, quote, sounds well and is feeling good. The White House also just released this picture of the president walking to Marine One yesterday on his way to Walter Reed Hospital. Now outside the hospital today, as you can see, supporters are gathering there. This is a live look as several are waving flags. We are told that a short time ago right here, there was some sort of clash between a few people outside the hospital. And Emily Schmidt tells us tonight some questions are growing as more people close to the president are now also testing positive. More questions than answers. President Trump's doctor addressing Trump's condition for the first time since his COVID diagnosis. The first week of COVID, and in particular days 7 to 10, are the most critical in determining the likely course of this illness. At this time, the team and I are extremely happy with the progress the president has made. Dr. Sean Conley says the president is fever free and not having difficulty breathing, but didn't say when he contracted the virus. This is raising questions about the timeline of the illness. If you look at the calendar, if he started to develop symptoms, you know, on, on Friday or Thursday night, whenever it may have been, go back two or three days. Go back. Those are actually end up being the most critical days. That's the beginning of the week. That's during the debate. That's during all that travel. Dr. Conley did confirm President Trump was treated with the therapeutic remdesivir and received a dose of Regeneron, an experimental antibody cocktail. Remdesivir works a little bit differently than the antibodies. We're maximizing uh, all aspects of his care, uh, attacking uh, this virus. Meanwhile, more cases in the president's inner circle are emerging, including former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who helped Trump with Tuesday's debate. And Senator Ron Johnson is now the third Republican lawmaker to test positive for COVID-19. Well wishes for President Trump and the First Lady are pouring in now from around the world. One of them, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who really understands what Trump's going through right now. Johnson was hospitalized with coronavirus back in March. Obviously, I think we all want to send our best wishes to the President and uh, the First Lady, and uh, I've done that this morning, as you can imagine. And uh, I'm sure that they'll both stage a very strong recovery. Twitter, other world leaders reached out, including Canada's Justin Trudeau, Israel's Benjamin Netanyahu, and Pakistan's Imran Khan, all wishing the first couple a speedy recovery. The president's hospitalization comes as we are now just one month away from the election. President Trump and Democratic candidate Joe Biden are supposed to have two more in-person debates this month. No changes have been announced to those yet, but sources say changes are being made for the debate between their running mates. The debate commission agreed that Vice President Mike Pence and Senator Kamala Harris will now be spaced 12 feet apart instead of seven. Negotiations to put more space between them were reportedly underway before the president tested positive. That debate is set for Wednesday. All right, now let's update the coronavirus numbers right here in Indiana. For the second day in a row, we are seeing more than 1,400 new cases reported in just one day. Another 13 Hoosiers have died and more than 26,000 people were tested. Now, despite the increase in new COVID-19 cases, the state's positivity rate is still sitting at 4.4%. The goal here is to stay under 5%.